Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of Farthest Frontier, the feudal era city building game now available on Steam from Crate Entertainment. Make sure to go over there, check it out. Link in the description below, get you some of that. It is a great value and well fleshed out game considering it's in early access at this point. <clears throat> Unlike some other games that uh, just came out that I was really excited about that don't seem to have their act together and thus they will not be streamed anytime, uh, at least in the next couple of days. So, um, yeah. Stand by for updates on that on the channel. But hey, welcome to all the folks who are new. Uh, we have a bunch of new subscribers and guys that you you have no idea how exciting that is for me. I really thank you for being here and uh, hope you'll check in in the chat. Say hello. Check in with your local airport code. That's how we say hi. Let people know where we are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm, I'm, I say and beyond because kind of hoping someday <laughs> we'll get a check in like from the International Space Station, or, you know, on a starship or something like that. So that would be super cool and neat in a cool and neat sort of way. So um, anyway, so we're back in Huntington. It is uh, year 23, and we are going to be uh, doing some more building this episode to uh, keep the growth curve going, because we had to deal with combat last time, and the Raiders with their pesky annual, what, tri triannual? No, that, that's, that'd be... That'd be three times annual there. I kind of muted myself. I hit the uh, button there. Let's just kick over here so you can see the city. There we go. How about that? Uh, so, hmm. so perennial would be every year. Biennial would be every, every other year, or is that twice a year? Anyway, every third year, the Raiders come pay us a visit, and we send them away with their tails between their legs and a bunch of bodies to have to cut up and throw into the fields for fertilization so uh anyway here's uh here's huntington let's take a sweeping view coming in from the south here as we we come up the south road north south road i don't know this might as well be main street i guess we pass our little fishing pond our little defensive position down here there's the new theater that's under construction we still need some clay for that we need a bunch of clay for that we could use bill clay for that too but he's not here he uh He's about to fall off of Nakatomi Plaza, as it were. Or at least the guy that claimed to be Bill Clay, right? Die Hard, Christmas movie or not? What's your uh, what's your vote? I think it is. But that's me. So we got a little ghetto action going here on this side of town. I mean, we've got a few shacks over here. Well, shacks. Uh, shelters still that haven't upgraded. In part because we did have that iron mine over here. But you can see... Right here, these houses are all in the process of upgrading to large houses, which is what we have this, this one right here. Uh, and that's helping because we put a pub here. So now we got to start making beer. So we got a brewery going in somewhere. Um, and uh, also, as soon... Okay, so the priority is to get this done. As soon as that... Well, you know what? And this, this may come up... This needs 50 bricks. We've got 50 bricks. This needs 60 boards. Let's get 60 boards and we'll upgrade that healer's house. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, of course, we also are working on a cobbler shop right now. We have a furniture shop that's on hold. Um, oh, there's the brewery. And we're going to disable construction for that for now. Uh, over here. We, oh, no, no, not there. Here. There's a pre preservist building site. I think we really want to get the hospital upgraded first because that will again that will add more into uh, the desirability if we hit this here you see how things are starting to turn blue blue is good blue is a good color unless it's your balls um yeah did I say that um, <laughs> kids cover your ears um, but you can see some of these houses 70 plus desirability 65 is the threshold to upgrade from a so you start as a shelter and above 30 percent desirability you go up to a homestead most of these are homesteads okay 
And then when you get above 65%, town center level three, and you got to have a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's see here. Let's click on this one. Oh, that's, a, that's a built site too? Hello? Hello? Hey, uh, yeah, I guess so. All right. This one's almost there. All right. So you, and you got to have three different types of foods. You got to have some pottery. You got to have some candles, which we're making. They're all up here. Uh, this is this is the potter building, and then the candle shop is this one. There it is. There's the candle shop. We need more people though. We got we got 20 less butts than we have beds, and you want to make sure you continually grow your number of beds in your village each year, so you can welcome in and and then you don't get overwhelmed when like a group of a dozen people come knocking on the door. Hey. Guys, got any space at the end? Well, <laughs> absolutely we do. <laughs> Would you think we were going to make you like Jesus and make you sleep in the barn? No, come on in. We got space. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's not exactly how that happened. But anyway, uh, you get the point. Uh, and the point is, it is the spring of year 23. How do we know it's spring? Because the calendar here starts in spring. First three months are spring, then three months of summer. Then three months of fall, then three months of winter. This is the harshest month right here. It's this first month of winter, all right? Uh, we do have our glass making factory up and running, which is super cool. Uh, and, and that means we need to get the preservist building going. But again, uh, can, you know what? Wait a second. Let's have three people there. We only got two people there. Hmm. Any chance we can move some... Oh, that Fletcher building is missing a person. Both the Fletcher buildings are... Oh, I shut them down. That's right. Uh, oh, I shut them down for the, for the battle. Let's take a look at the distribution list. we got four brick makers. we got charcoal makers. we got two wood splitters. Lots of wood. That's good. Four foundrymen. Um, Miller, 14 miners. Work camps are usually where we're going to take people from. Blacksmiths, yep, Shan, uh, chandeliers. I guess it's a candle maker. Coopers make barrels. Cobblers make shoes. Glassmakers make glass. Gee, duh, you train. Thanks for spelling that out for us. <laughs> uh, potters make pottery. Imagine that. Soap makers, that's kind of straightforward. Tanners make hides uh, or make pelts out of hides. And weavers make clothing. We got six guards? There's our problem. I knew we had some math issues. Oh, yeah, we got. Oh, you know what? I know what it was. I know what this is. This is an espresso machine. Um, that's what we wanted. I turned that off so I could take a nice picture before we. Um, so I can make a nice thumbnail. Where do we have guards? We don't need guards. Okay, so we got one over here. You know, I don't think this is a threatened position. So we're going to turn that off. That'll free him up. And we're going to move him into board cutting. We have lots of logs. Okay, I saw something uh, on a video for Tacky Tacit Cat, Tacky Cat, Tactical Cat. Something like that. Anyway, um, he pointed out something I never considered, and that is you want to have your smoke, uh, your smoke houses near your firewood supply because they use firewood. I hadn't thought of that. We got firewood over here. That's our firewood production. So logs come into here, and there's lots of logs right there. There's logs right there, too, on our mobile storage cart. And then they wind up here to get chopped into firewood, which then gets distributed out to places like this smokehouse over here. So I put the smokehouse over here so it would be closer, you know, for these fishermen. But now I'm going to have to rethink that strategy. They have plenty of firewood, though. Maybe that maybe that's irrelevant. All right. Well, let's just get things rolling here. And we added that guy into the mix here. Is there anyone else we can move out? So we have, we need clay. This building appears a little bit beat up.
two people gathering iron. One, two people gathering sand. Why do we have a stop build? Why do we have a st What is this? What do we have going on over here that we stopped? Put, a, put the kibosh on building or something. I don't understand. What did I do here? Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what this is. Construction's enabled. All right. Merchant has arrived. Beldar the Ugly has arrived. No. I want to resume. Wow. God, that's making a lot of noise, isn't it? Okay. Let's see if I can get... Okay, construction is prioritized. I don't know. So maybe they'll figure it out. But the point is we were backing that uh, that tower up one space so that we could um, put another gate in front of it. All right. So let's see what Beldar the Ugly has going on here. We have lots of pelts. That's good. We actually have baskets. So that's good, too. We don't have any shoes. We need boards, but we're not selling them. We have medicinal roots he's buying. All right, that's that. You know something? He's selling clay. I, we may buy some just to get get her, get her done. We'll see. Uh, let's take a quick gander at what we got. So materials-wise, we got logs, we got stone, we got grain, we got water, we got iron ore we got a little bit of coal coming in blacks make clothes coal, clay we need to finish up the theater that's the rub as matt damon was so fond matt damon was so fond of saying in the martian which i actually kind of enjoy whenever that's on i kind of have that on um medicinal roots herbs we have tons of honey sugar dun 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 oh honey honey we have uh willow for baskets that's good Wax from the bees. And we have sand. That's a lot of sand. Especially since... Oh, glass maker. Yeah. Oops. Forgot. They use sand. All right. Let's uh, let's not blow that off because we do need... Yeah, look there. We got glassware coming in. Which means as soon as we build the preservist building, that'll start getting to use. Put to use for root vegetables and fruits. Or, um, yeah. So we have bread. We have smoked fish, we have venison, we have root vegetables, we have beans, we have greens. That's not bad. Produce materials are okay. Bricks. These must have just gotten allocated out to a build site. We have iron ore, that's good. We have lots of tallow for soap. We're making soap. Hmm. This is a key right here. And since we upgrade, we should get like two more. Let's just run this forward. Pick up the speed a little bit here. We, have, we should have two more um, trader types coming in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We should have two more trader types coming in here. All right, that's in progress. That's good. Oh, terrific. Somebody's house is on fire. Go put someone's house out. Yep. We need 106 clay over here. That's a lot. Is it out yet? Holy crap. Now there's like two buildings on fire. People. Ah, here we go. This is important. This is a better trader type. Lethros. Wait a minute. We've seen Lethros again. Where's the other dude? There's another dude. And the other dude is cooler than Lethros. Uh-oh. That's not going to be good. Uh, maybe get in the cramp. Um, we don't have furniture building up yet. He... He'd sell us weapons. Too bad he's not buying shields. Look how much this armor's. Good golly. Man. He's got barrels. All right, so we're making 55 gold per month. All right, let now, now, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold, hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, so 
here's where we are with trading and we talked about this the last couple of episodes we're going to now we've looked at what we have to offer them because we really don't need anything all right we may buy some stuff and you know it's kind of like uh i'm in walmart or name your local whatever store and you pick something off the, off the shelf that looks interesting you ever carry it around the store with you for a little bit thinking about whether you want to buy it or not and you kind of put it in the cart you roll around and 20 minutes later you decide you know what no i really don't need that and you put it back hopefully you put it back or maybe you're a d-bag and just kind of stick it on the shelf over in cosmetics when you got it out of automotive or something like that you know don't be that don't don't be that person <laughs> they don't get paid to put your stuff back all right go put it back be a nice person anyway so all right so now that we've evaluated what we have to sell which is not really anything i i guess we could sell the medicinal roots and he's paying f far above price so but i mean what we sell 11 of them and we'll make 100 gold that's cool and then we could turn around and buy some clay back i guess and with the uh foragers out right now i suppose we actually would wait a minute i see an opportunity um we'd get the medicinal roots back in. opportunity knocks hear that sound that's opportunity knocking he's selling clothing for 10 which is far below average price he's buying for 14 which is below average price but it's four more gold per than you'd buy it for that is an opportunity to make a little money because you could buy chunks of this like we don't to buy a hundred oh, it cost a thousand right and then you'd make then you turn around and come back with 1400 right all right so let's let's do that let's transfer a thousand gold not ten thousand we ain't got ten thousand confirmed all right let's run this forward for a second not, not half speed blockhead let's go to one time speed your hot keys for that are the one is half speed um two is one time speed three there we go Three is two times speed and four is three times speed. Okay, so now we got a thousand gold. All right, so we're going to buy a hundred clothes. Give me a hundred. Just, hey, not a hundred and two, not a hundred and one. I want one hundred. I don't know why this is so complicated. See, it wouldn't let me do it. And it won't let you put the number in. All right, so now I got to finagle this and get it. Not, not 101, not 99. This is not Toto song. 99, why did we fall apart? Can't, can I move the arrow keys or plus and minus? That's annoying. That's annoying as hell. That it, I mean, we may just get 99. 99 red balloons floating in the summer sky. Anybody remember that song? Nina. Is it German? Of course it's called It's German. Uh, from the 80s. 99 lift balloons there's a german version and an english version and the common ver worm word worm the common word in both is captain kirk so another song that referenced star trek i cannot get this you know what frick it okay so we're gonna so we'll buy 99 hang on now there how about them apples all right, so we bought 100, right? Now we go to this guy. He's got 3,700 gold. He's got plenty of money. And this is the key 
when you're trying to do this, don't over math yourself and run them out of money and then you're stuck with a bunch of stuff, okay? 1,400, sell items. We just made 400 gold. Hmm, how about them apples? So why don't we go back to Trader 1? Hey, Trader 1, want to sell us another 100? Sure. In fact, you can sell us more than 100. Why don't you sell us 140? Oh, I can actually hit 140. There we go. And you buy in stock. You don't buy in transfer. You buy in stock. Boom. Now we go back to Trader 2. Remember how we had 1,400? Now we got 1960. We just made 960 gold, guys, and we did nothing. Okay? This is what you look for. All right? Now, real quick, let's take one more gander just in case. So now we've run him out of money. I don't think the other guy is selling anything like this, so we're, we're going to run this guy broke. He's got a ton of money. So we may actually flip this back the other direction. Okay? He's got 94 which means he would sell us 940. But the problem is this guy's only got 409, which means really he can only buy like 35 of these. Now is when you break out your fancy phone and do some calculating. All right. So if we break this out, we say 409, 409, 409. That's Beach Boys or Jan and Dean song. You guys like the pop culture references? I hope you do. 409. That was a cubic inch uh, displacement engine size back in the 60s in the United States. So, yeah, back when they made songs about cars, racing cars, and girls, and the beach, and surfing, and cool stuff, and not the garbage it is today. All right, so excuse me, we're going to divide 409 by 14. That comes out to 29 and change. Excuse me. All right, so we just need 20. 29 more clothes. Buy in stock. Trader 2. Brr, sell. Poof. We just made 1,076 gold, gang. Look how hard that was. Yeah, that was difficult stuff. I huh, trained. All right. But the question is. Can we make something go back the other direction? Hmm. Well, let's see what this guy's buying. Probably not. Pelts, baskets, shoes, wood planks, medicinal roots. Beer, cheese, medicine, which if you have an apothecary, you use medicinal roots to make medicine. Hmm. Uh, so we can't go back the other way with it, so we're done at this point. Anything we want to buy, far above average, far well, at above average, above average, no, no. What kind of weapons are these? Heavy weapons. Ooh, there's that word again, heavy. Is there something wrong with the Earth's gravitational pull in the future? Let's see if you can tell me what movie that's from. All right, so now you've seen what, what, what to do here to facilitate trades between between traders, okay? Now, the other thing what we're going to do, we're gonna, while we're here for a tip, we're going to throw this guy uh we're going to buy some clothes from him. And we're going to buy like 100 clay. I mean, we made 976 gold doing nothing. Sure, let's because it doesn't like the 100 even. I, it doesn't even look like it's built into the game here. Seriously, it doesn't. It's like I can get the 101 and it's it just jumps. All right, fine. Buy and transfer. Let's go and get these building projects done. All right, so we've gotten 100 clay... 10 things of clothing and 572 gold for free. Cost us nothing. You like apples? How about those apples? Now, here's the thing. 
We're gonna, we're gonna run ahead, okay? And we're gonna let those traders sit because we'll see if a third one comes to town here in a minute. Once you upgrade this um, this to a, a trading center from the trading post, you will tend to get um, three traders per year. So look for a double ox cart wandering in from somewhere. Nope, not there. Not there. They may come a little later in the season. All right, so now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take one of you out. Do we want to... You know what? Let's uh, let's transfer eleven of them. That shouldn't take long. We took that dude for all his cash. Didn't buy anything from him because he's at one of the high dollar dudes. We need some bodies and we need some kids to graduate weight. Kids graduate from school kind of going into June or going into summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. All right, did we have that transfer made? We do. Let's get that money because he's leaving in seven days. Sell items. All right, so there's 100. Um, we could sell some pelts, but you know what? We're, we're at 671 up so far for doing really nothing. So let's just, uh, well, you know what? Mm. I like gold. Gold is good. We're using gold to upgrade. It takes a little gold to upgrade every one of the houses. But at the same time, uh, those houses, let's see if she can get 14 pelts moved over. I don't know where the pelts are. Two new villagers born. Four days, three days, two days. There's 11 of them, one day, and stop. Okay, that's it. She can take those back. Okay, he's out of here. And that's why we did that. Okay. Typhoid, take a shower. Um, yeah, that's why we did what we did there. Okay, you stop when they have a, like one day left. Because if you don't, then, um, hey, there we go. Eight villagers graduated. That means we got eight new people in the workforce. Yeah. That's good news. All right. So let's hit the P key. Bring up our productivity. Yay. So 29. We need 27 people. What we's going to do, huh? Is we're going to put somebody to work in here. Huh? And it looks like firewood production is slipping a little bit. So let's actually put someone in there, too. And that should, should being the operative word, of course. Nope, 28 laborers. Eat it. Just eat it. Just eat it. Are we going to get a third merchant? That would be swell. Food stocks are low. And that's not making me happy. That's See, that's why people's happiness just went down. Yeah, see, over here, we're for some reason, it's taking a long time. Oh, you know what? Let's add someone in here. I think laborers actually do this work. And if these two are unable to work, let's take them out of there. And let's put one of them in there. There we go. That should get those trees planted. So those people get to work. We'll have that food. We should have food coming in here pretty quick with the harvest of peaches. And we've got berries coming in. And we've got a new fishing site. Now, did this guy, go, did he leave yet? He did. Okay. We're going to transfer this gold out. Sweet. See where we started the episode? We were at like 2,000 or so. We've picked up 1,000 gold, a bunch of clay, which now has already been allocated out. Oh, wait. No, we're done with you. Goodbye. 
And now, yay, looky here, our theater's done. Here's the trick. The theater costs 30 gold per month. Yeah. Now, see how this says 70 here? The, 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 the key here is it's going to cause all of these shacks down here to upgrade to homesteads, which is great because then each one brings in one gold per month to the market. So that offsets some of this cost. So we get one, two, three. You, you see what I'm saying? There's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, is this? That's a homestead. Yeah, five. This should be a large house. Large houses add even more. Okay. Let's see, we've got a large house build site going up here. So uh, we've got a large house upgrade going here. All right. This should be upgrading pretty soon. As soon as they get two types of food in there, that will upgrade to, oh, gee, many Christmas. This, this block over here is a freaking fire trap. The hell, people? There you go. That's a good job with the bucket brigade. All right. So... Yeah, now the large houses will bring in even more. But we have to make sure we're providing them with uh, with you know, eight willow. How does willow spoil? Come on, man. Get that together. All right, we got our brick root cellars. Now see here, the barrels, spoilage reduction bonus per barrel, 5%. We want lots of barrels. Which means we have 28. It wants 20. You know what? We're even up on. And now some trees are getting planted over here. So that's a good thing. So we're going to let that go. And let's see. What's this? Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Let's see. Cutting down trees and eating their lunch just like their old papa. Pretty soon, we should get an indication. Should be in the operative word. Now, nobody's sick right now. So we could actually... Ooh, two new villagers born. 253 out of 272. We should get a cluster of people coming in here before too long as well. Let me check the food supply, though. All right, see, we got lots of fruit. This was the early, so this is peaches. We still haven't gotten to the apple harvest. That's coming up still. Okay. We got beans, greens. Villager struck it with worms. Ooh, that just sounds disgusting. Yes, upgrade. There it is. That's a 500 gold upgrade. So, guess what? That trade deal we did paid for that upgrade. It did, it did. Awesome sauce. All right, so these shelters over here are not quite where they need to be. I don't know if that well is where I want that well to be, so I'm going to hold off on upgrading that. Let's see what the story here is. All right. The problem with this guy, these guys over here, let's check this one. They are not within range of a market, which means I probably need to build another market. Oh, uh, oh, hey, 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 hey. What if I put the market in here? Uh, I can move that fence. <laughs> but then it catches, oh man, it needs to be further out. It needs to be like, no, it doesn't need to be there. Well, hmm. I'd have to do like one over here, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I'd want to put that uh, fence around it. There it goes. Right up against that. Oh, that's up against the houses right there. See, there's that one house. See, if I come down one more, see how that house goes from 39 to 45 desi 44 desirability hmm so we can put a market there and then we'd have to put a market over here as well 
I kind of dig it. So what we need to do, oh, there's a well there. So we just catch the edge of these houses. Remember, when you uh, the, the market initially has a range of 13 tiles. But when you upgrade it and the other one's upgraded, then it has a range of 15 tiles. So right now, this is the 13 tile range. Watch right up above th this house right here. Watch this house right here, okay? If we put this market here, okay? Now we're down to plus 5%. I don't think we need to move any further away, but what there now see it law admit now it's out entirely. Now watch what happens if I go see it's at plus five. Now it goes to plus six. And then it holds it plus six. So plus six is going to be the best we can get out of this uh, market at this position. Now if I move over here one. That doesn't hurt. Well. There's some plus sixes going to plus sevens and plus, yeah. This is probably going to be about where we want this. Hmm. I dig it. Because we're going to want to create basically a new market square like this. And then the whole new residential area goes around it, right? guys tracking picking up on laying down here now on this side there's more of the farming stuff going over here and let's hit the fertility so the problem is then we're building houses in really fertile land not the best thing this over here is not as good as that land now this down here is pretty good we could probably build a couple more fields down here off this road uh, there's really fertile ground, gra ground, there's really fertile ground, there's really fertile ground down here. Am I missing one of my tags? No. Nope. Okay, there's that. Oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Those are like the F2, F3, F4 keys. That's what those do. So we have a bunch of stuff upgrading. We still have a 19 bed uh, over butt ratio. Hmm. Look at the desirability down here. 64%, 65, that's upgrading. 70, that's going to upgrade. 65, that's going to upgrade. These are so close. Oh, you know what? I have a plan. We are going to punch them over real quick. Like, let's go to decorations. And in the decorations, we got a medium garden. Because we've already put a garden. And then we put a flagpole. Then we put another garden. So there's two, two ways we could do this. And this is the way we're going to do it. See there? There's a plus two. And then it's not going to benefit on that side. This will benefit some people on the other side. Or... We could do, uh, that's a two by three space that's the problem. Or we could just plop in another one of these, which will push those up plus three in the radius, which is good. You can stack little, the medium gardens. Okay, that benefits stacks, which means you can have multiples and they increase uh, an adjacent home. Whereas if you do like the small garden, it doesn't stack. So if you do one, that's great. But then you go doing a bunch of them, like if you did these like all over the place, it wouldn't really do you any good, all right? So what we can do here, so there's a small shrub and there's a small garden and there's a medium garden. Uh, small plaza doesn't do us any good. Now, the... the Flag pole. Yeah, see where we have a flag pole. But okay, see how the desirability does not change? Like this house is 62% desirability right there. All right, 
it's still 62% desirability. It's not till I move this way over here, like right next to it, that it goes up anymore, right? Because it's already in the range of this flagpole right here. So you don't, you can't stack flagpoles, apparently. What we could do is a medium garden and then two of these things. And because they're two different things, I think that will work. So let's actually, let's try that. So let's do one of these here and one of these here. And then we'll do one of these here, okay? That should do nicely. And then, no, I think we've got some space right here as well. All right, we got a two by three space here. That could be garden trail, which does not stack. I mean, it looks nice, but it doesn't stack. Uh, we could do another garden. If we move this house, which it's on the corner of this road, we could put in a small park, which I think is three by three. Yep. And now we move the road one tile. And really, we might as well move the road two tiles. You know what? That's a fine point, eh, Train? I'm glad you brought that up. Let's ditch this. Goodbye. N. Run that to there. Boom. N. Run this to under minimums. Really? Are you serious right here? It's three tiles. Good Lord. One issue I have with the game right there. It's minor. I know. It's not a big deal. All right. So let's ditch this road. And then we'll ditch this road. And then we will rebuild it. Because we have the technology. Now, this home is currently upgrading to a homestead. I know. And we just took it out of that upgrade. No, 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 move it because we like to move it, move it. Boom to there. Okay. And then actually we're going to extend this road because see these houses are here. It's actually a good place to extend that road. That works. So now let's upgrade this. Mm-hmm. We'll do the same gig right here. I think the radius of impact is small enough that we should get the same benefit. Now here, we're going to put in one of these, a small park. Okay? Like that. And then... We're going to put in this deal. Boom. So then if you're walking down the street, you got a cool way to get into the uh, to the theater. All right. Swell. I like it. All right. We got eight months of food. We're coming into the later part of harvest here, folks. So we need to kick it in the ace. And see where we're at. Um, how are we looking on grain? We got tons of grain, which means we need more bread, which means we need to allocate probably a second person in here. Because I think we got... I'm going to drop that down. That'll, re that'll rebalance it. Okay, now, as far as our fields go, let's take a quick look. We just came through a, a bean season here, and it depends on how this shakes out next. So we'll keep a mental note after New Year of which one of those it goes to. Uh, we just came through a rye season here, thus why we have so much grain. And then we came through a clover season. So this field just got its fertility raised, which is terrific. This field is turnips and beans. That's good. Now over here, we have wheat season we just came out of. Here, cabbage season. And that means this is in for clover, for raising fertility. Is 
Is this the one? Yeah. Remember, I had done some math on this in my handy dandy notebook. That's my notebook. So we had from another video, we had picked up a, a, a crop rotation cycle where you do three fields identical size. Year one, you do peas, maintenance, and clover, which allows you to fertilize the field at plus four. Year two, you do turnips and beans, which turnips are a minus two, beans are a plus one, so then you're still at a plus five. And in the third year, you do clover, which is a plus three, so you're a plus eight, and then rye, which is a minus five. All right, so you basically get four crops over the three-year period. Peas, year one, turnips and beans, year two, and rye in year three. Um, and in a couple of fields, we've got that rye swapped out for flax. And we may look at another option. Now, in the trick is these fields here, these four, are to the sandy side like this. Okay? Which benefits beans, carrots, and flax. Okay? It's not good for not good for peas, but that's okay. These are biased to the clay side over here, which benefits, uh, it doesn't benefit wheat, it benefits cabbage and beans, or peas, okay? So we've got 365 over 366. This year we got 700, well, we not quite there, but also the weed level and the rockiness is still coming down because we're, we're working our maintenance cycles. And eventually we want to get to where um, we take out this maintenance cycle and replace it with clover okay and then over the three-year period this field will be zero balance for fertility change okay so we add fertility we take away fertility we take away we add we add and then we'll add more in here because we'll have another clover session here we have the two maintenance sessions though because we're trying to get this down okay and then this will come up See, this field's in better shape here. And then this field here. See how the weed level's down to like 1%? So there you go. One, one session of, of weeding will take, uh, will, will improve the field greatly. All right? So, let's... See here, we just lost some uh, seven fruit. That's not the worst thing in the world. But see the range on that? Now that's an upgraded market. It's a market square. Okay. So it's not quite oh let's see, it's not getting this homestead right here. Although this this is a fifty four percent. Oh the hospital's done. Look at that. Hooray. There's our hospital. Do, do, do. Still got the caduceus on the uh, the door. All right, now the benefits there is it's um, actually there's plus and minuses because see now our monthly uh, gold count is down, but that's a temporary issue because if you look, there's a lot of, hello? There's a lot of houses upgrading at present, okay? So we got a large house here, we got a large house here. This one, 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 they're all upgrading. And as soon as the large house, as you, when you get to a large house, it actually provides more gold into the kitty. Okay. And it, and it gives you another bed, which is why our, our butts to bed ratio is going in a positive direction. We're getting more beds to butts, right? Because with every house that upgrades from a homestead, which houses four people, to a large house, that house is five people, we're at a plus one. So we just need a crop of people to come wandering into town saying, hey, you got any room? Hey, we do. All right, we got some trees planted finally. This is good. Oh, we may have a body we can allocate somewhere. Of course, we're going into the cold weather months too. Then we're going to be able to allocate bodies everywhere. 
What do we need? Ah, preservist building. Let's get that built. Pretty sure we've got... We need another body in the clay pit. Impending blizzard. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That's going to get us. First off, it, it, it's going to be deathly cold. All right, so see now how it says extreme cold temperatures, light breeze. That's going to change real quick <laughs> and not be good. Um, our people in the forager huts, forager shacks, Seek, well, she's seeking medicine. Idling, unable to work. Okay. They should have all of their stuff collected and in. Foraging greens. Yep. Yep. Now we need to get you done and in. How's our coal supply looking? Nice. Uh, we have a forager over here. Idling, unable to work. All right. We'll go ahead and take you out. You're still foraging greens, so at least you're being useful. You're sick. That doesn't do me any good. You're idling, so let's free you up. Problem is, all these people are going to be running for home or shelter in just a minute, which is why we have these these temporary, excuse me, temporary shelters. You may not think those are important, but this is when they're important, okay? Because you'll see when the cold weather sets in, and this goes to bright white here in just a minute. Watch. Oh, wait. Before we even worry about the good lord now i know a bunch of these are build sites like right here these are all build sites but th these are upgrade sites and upgrade sites are what we like to see we're going up from a shelter to a homestead that's plus one gold per month at the market and if we go from a homestead up to a large house uh Let's click on one. Here's a homestead. Upgrade cost, additional housing capacity, larger happiness, increased durability. I thought large houses brought in additional gold. Good Lord, 85%. 85% is actually your upgrade to a manor, which is your level four house. But you got to have level four city uh, town center for that. We not gonna have that anytime soon, but that's okay. Uh, we need, and then see, we gotta have furniture and glassware. Oh, that's gonna be a uh, draw on our glassware. Although we're doing pretty good there. Okay, so bread is looking a little on the. Ugh. We have lots of beans and lots of fruit though. So preservist building is under construction and is prioritized. We just got to get the clay bricks going, which means we got to get the clay going. Um, you're disabled. You are literally disabled because you're seeking medicine. Boink. Boink. Thank you. Let me just check this real quick. Okay, I'm doing this the wrong way. All right, so let's do this. Enable the slot. No, don't hit the E key. We're not exploring. All right, enable that one. That's enabled because he's actually working still. Thank you. All right, keep the slots enabled in your forager shacks because I keep doing this wrong. Um, and then what you do is just go into professions of the P key. All right. And you go to foragers. Boop, 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 boop. See how that changed? Very nice. All right, and then you just put them back in in the spring when the when the calendar ticks over to the new year, just pop them back in there. Now we're going to assign people to other jobs. We're going to put someone here. Remember, we're going to have to take these people back out of these jobs come the spring. Okay? Just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Okay. That's good. Yeah. We should get a horn here going, which means really cold. Oh, nice. All right. Rats are taken care of. You know what we want to do this year? I think we want to upgrade this tower right here. Now, we're about to go into blizzard mode here. I want to prioritize that as well. Well, okay. It's extremely cold with a light breeze. Well, through the first month of winter, though, that's usually when the blizzard takes place. Oh, here comes the blizzard. Here we are. Now it's deadly cold. Look at the people scrambling. Okay? Everybody's running for the house. They're like, oh, hell no. I'm out. They're, they're running for shelter. Okay? If they had something going on, they're getting there. All right, now, here's the trick. Seeking shelter. Seeking shelter. Okay? Make sure when you've got work camps out from town, all right? Like in this case, we got a work camp. See how they say that they're seeking shelter? So this is Walter and Barty. And Walter and Barty might be, uh, you know, doing a little more than seeking shelter. They've got that temporary shelter to themselves. Hey, how you doing? Um, and that, so that helps keep them alive. Like this mine up here is even further out, right? Addy and Sakar may also be uh, looking to make a little afternoon delight. Oh, nope, they're not here. They're seeking shelter somewhere, but I'm not sure where they're seeking shelter. That's okay. All right. So that's why you want to have temporary shelters out at your deployed work sites. Now the blizzard's already over. That one went quick. So everybody's going back to work. So that uh, that worked out for us, as it were. And here we get a work camp where they're mining stone and whatever. How much clay? It's not a lot of clay. It's our blacksmith forge. That's our next blacksmith's forge. This clay deposit's still got a ton to it. And then we'll be able to close that out because this is kind of our... Um, industrial area over here all right see now how we're at 13 plus 13 right now watch for that number to go up all right here's year 24 jeff gordon uh or william byron right now he drives the number 24 exalta chevrolet camaro zl1 or hendrick motorsports Gotta have the high quality H2O. Mama said the dehydration is the devil. All right. So over here, I think we can help some things out. Let's take a look at this. 27%. We just need 3% for this guy. This one, they just need some food and herbs. Okay, now we're actually into the first month. So we do need to uh, put our uh, foragers back up. And it wants us to have 29 labors. I'm okay with 27. Um, I'll take one out of the coal mine. We're going to need, actually, we're going to need an extra body or two because the uh, traders will be along here in a bit. We don't have much there. Ah, I know where we can take a body from. I see we only have one flax, which means you guys ain't got a whole lot to do. Oh, they got 122 flax in storage. Disregard. All right, preservist building should be coming together here. And I love it when a plan comes together. We just need 20 bricks. Now here, idling unable to work. The hell you say? Let's let's put one person on it at least. Get out there and take care of those trees. Because I really like your peaches. Want to shake those trees. 
we're cooking along at three times speed here. Let's slow it down just a little bit. Our first trader is in. Let's review this. 28 people. They want us to have 29. That's fine. Um, we are going to reallocate. We already took someone out. No, we didn't. We are going to take someone out of there. We don't have much for clothing, but we we can we'll borrow a body here. So let's get someone here. Thank you. And then we'll pull a second body from something. We're gonna actually need people here in a minute because we are starting to count down a little bit. Yeah, we need more bodies. We didn't get a mass migration last year, like I was hoping. We've had um, we've had kids be born. We've had them graduate. We've got 60 children. Oh my gosh, we should get a chunk out of that this year when we get to this you know summertime that graduate and they'll move into the workforce that's good okay uh, I, I, it's cool it's casual so they have to work 173 out of 260 and then yeah your children and your infants are not fit to work but the kids as long as when they go to school they get educated and when you get an education you become a more productive worker. All right. So let's look at, ooh, that's a two by three spot. I know what was going to go there. It was going to be a pub. An ornamental tree. Oh, I forgot about statues and stuff. Hmm. That's okay. Uh, is it food production? No. We'll put a pub. All right, y'all. Boom. Uh, 15 stone. We got that. 50 boards. We're working on that. Okay. We just need some more brick, clay bricks over here. Bring it ding ding We got a trader. Oh, it's Atka. Our friend Atka. We like Atka. She's pretty good to us. Uh, she's not really buying anything we have to sell. We don't have beer yet. That's over here. We haven't built it yet. And we're not going to sell that few of candles. And she's selling heavy machinery and shields, which we have lots of shields. Yeah. And we have heavy machinery, too, or heavy tools. Oh, look here. We got five halberks, though. Ooh. This is my ooh face of give me the right um, trader, dude. So we can sell those halberks. Otherwise, our people are going to put them on. We're, all, we're at plus 14 on our... Oh, gosh. Now we're only at plus three. Eek. We need to make money, money, make money, money, money. We still got a bunch of houses down here too. Uh, they're in the process of upgrading, and then that will that number will increase. Okay, are you people working yet? Idling, unable to work. How is that possible? No. Wandering, unable to work. Well, maybe they don't work until it's time to pick the trees. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Okay, who just pulled into town? Oh, be one of the big dogs. Oh, it's Bedlar. Or Beldar. Beldar the Ugly. Beldar the Ugly, though, is buying uh, logs and at far above average, which is good. So we can sell him now. Here's the trick. And it's been a couple episodes since I covered this. So let me cover this up a uh, little detail here. Again, this is why from a location standpoint, you want your trading post right next to your main storage facilities. Okay. Because these people here that work here, see this like pushing a wheelbarrow around? That's them. Okay. And you want them to be able to jog across the street. Actually, you know what? We're going to make life easier on them. Let's move this right over 
here, which is not really going to matter. Um, but we're going to sell like two, 200 logs. Yeah, that's a thousand gold. Um, yeah, let's transfer like. Can I type in 226 and it work? There you go. Let's well, see, it works there. Now we're going to need to add another body. So they're going to stock the trading post. All right. So we'll see where they are here in a second. Let's go. Not one time speed. Go, go faster. Move faster. Get hit less. But the point is, the logs are right here. Literally right across the street. They move 10 logs at a time. And we just moved the mobile tra uh, post across. There's 172. So that's our log storage right there. All right. See how he's, see how the dude right here? See him going back and forth across the street there? There he is. Ten logs at a time. Back and forth. Now they're both going. All right. Now, the one thing we want to watch is Atka. In case there's anything we want to buy from her. I don't think there is, but you know what? There is. I think I'm going to buy some uh, fish from her. We're looking good on stone. We actually, no, we have. I got to continue to improve our, our fish situation. Hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. All right, guys. Almost done. Cool. Wait. Done. All right. Boom. Sell items. Cha ching. Okay. I don't really, I, I don't feel the need to sell baskets, soap. He's buying stone at well above. We could take him for some more money. He's got lots of pottery. He's got lots of clay. We continue to struggle with clay. And he's selling it for far below average price. And that's a good thing. All right. Let's see if we can facilitate, facilitate a little, little trade in action here. All right. So let's go back to this guy. What's he buying here? He's bought, well, he's actually buying and selling logs. Basket shoes, soap, uh, stone, and sand. Atka has stone. She's selling it below at five. He's buying at eight. <gasps> okay. So here's what we can do. We can buy from Atka and then we can sell to him. For three, uh, three gold per stone uh, profit. Cha-ching! All right. So he ain't got a whole lot of money left, though, but that's okay. Because the more we sell to him, he'll get money back. Oh, no, no, no. We're taking money. We're selling. We're buying from Atka. Um, let's see if there's a way to make. Okay, so she is. She's trading coal. At far below average price. She's got a bunch. We don't have much. So he is selling clay. All right. At. Oh, this would give him money. Okay. All right. Um, I, I, I got to figure it out now. Sooner or later, I'll figure it out. Uh, now, oh, he is selling grain on the cheap. But we're not going to keep grain very long. We do have quite a bit of, of uh, bread. And we have quite a bit of grain. And we have grain coming in every year. Right? From at least one field, if not two. So, let's make some money off. So, three... Wait a minute. It was stone. That's right. I'll figure this out. He's buying stone for eight. She's selling it for five. And he's got 860, which means eight times five is 30, which means 16, uh, 12 times five is 60. 
So 112. So we're going to buy 112 stone. We actually only buy like 100. No, I'm going to clean him out. There we go. Buy in stock. And then we're going to sell to him. Wait a minute. Ah, I bollocked up the math. That's okay. We can always use it. Okay, cool. All right, so we just made some money. Cha ching That was like 300 gold. Um, so now he's out of money. Is there anything we could sell him? I mean, buy from him and sell to her. <laughs> She's not buying beans. She's buying boards below iron ore. There's five. Is he selling iron or no? Beldar, you're not helping me here, bud. I'm trying to help a brother out. I will buy clay from him. Okay, so that gives him a little bit more money, which means we can buy, facilitate another trade, <laughs> take that money right back. And that would be with the stone deal, right? Carve away the stone. Yes, because he's buying at eight. She is selling at five. Now, let me see if I can do this math right. Okay, he's got 304, which means that's going to be 60. Oh, no, I didn't do, oops, I did the math wrong, but that's okay. Whatever. One more. There you go. Cool. We can always use more stone. Stone is good. All right, cool. Anything else? There's clay. We can buy clay. See, I want her to buy, ugh. These, these higher level guys, we could sell shields, we could sell a heavy tool. I wouldn't sell two heavy tools, but I'd sell one. We need one for the furniture workshop. We do not need one for the brewery. We need one for here. No, we do not need one for the preservist building. Now, if we build another blacksmith forge, we need one there. But, excuse me. See, we actually have, we need to get a heavy tool out of here. So let's go ahead and actually enable this construction and get the furniture workshop up and going. Ah, we got another trader coming in. Awesome. Hopefully this will be good. So Ak is leaving in 19 days. Watch. Trader three. Oh, it's Scorv. Oh, come on, man. Why can't I get the good guy? If they nerfed him, <clears throat> I'm going to be pissed. Because was, it was a dude in a hajib. Markeef or, Mer Merkeef or something. His name began with an M. <clears throat> Excuse me. He was the one who'd buy the cool stuff. I bet they nerfed the number of times he comes around. That's the deal. Hey, remember that stone we bought? For five? We could buy some more and sell it for seven. That's all right. He's, we don't have any clothing to sell. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think... Oh, dang it. Nope. Rejected. Rebuke. Denied. 
All right, let's see if we can, because the facilitating trades within the trade center takes zero time. Okay, takes no time. <gasps> oh, look what Scorv is buying. Scorv is buying sugar. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, honey, honey. Yeah, that'll clear out some inventory. Yes. I like it. I like it all because he's selling everything for above. And we got that, 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 that. We got all that. We got everything he's selling. But he needs some sugar. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, honey, honey. So let's do some math, people. Ready? Figure 200. And then... And then another 20, 40, another 140. So this should be 340 plus mm, nine. So 349 is the number I'm thinking. So 1748 divided by five, 349.6. Thank you, 1980s era public school math. Woohoo! Yeah, that's how that works. 349 it is. Zo Wait, nope. We're not. We got to transfer it first. All right. <laughs> I hope this stuff isn't far away. All right. Uh, is there any other, anything else we can facilitate between them? She's buying candles for above. Are any of them selling candles? No. Scorv is kind of the low end dude, I think. It's I if you want to rank these guys, I think it's Scorv, then Beldar, then Atka. I think that I think that's how I would rank them. He's selling clay. Wait a minute. Scorv is buying tools for twenty seven. Uh, no, because Ack is always selling them above. Nope, that doesn't do us any good. Thanks. How about stone? Is he buying stone? He is buying stone. Oh, yeah, that's right. Take some stone. Flip that. And while we're at it, hey, Atka, how much more stone you got? 110? I want to buy all of it from you. Wait, 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 wait. Why would I do that? He's buying our honey from us. Dang it. That means I've already screwed up the math on this. Hold, please. Now I got to go back and recompute. Ah, all that hard work. No, I'm not wasting time with this one. I'm just typing this sucker into this fancy phone. 1559 divided by 5. 311. Okay. So we need to cut down our transfer to, to, to fancy phone. Settle down. Cut this down to 311. So we change this to 3. I mean, 310 is fine. Confirm. Thank you. All right. And I think that's going to do it. He's buying weapons for 76. She's selling above. Oh, she's selling crude weapons. And remember, next year we expect an attack. So we don't want to sell weapons. We want to make them. Mm. He's selling pelts. Yeah, we got plenty of that. Pottery. Beans. We could. We, we got a lot of beans. They're going to go to waste if we don't get the uh, hoopa jupe up and running here pretty quick. Which actually is about to open up. That's good. All right. So, yeah. Let's go. Roll Tide. Atka, have a good day. We'll see you next time. Appreciate you, as always. Beldar the Ugly, we uh, we appreciate you coming into town, hanging out with us for a little bit. And then, you guys, look how quick they're moving this. I don't even know where they're moving it from. But it's there. Boom. Scorv, 
Appreciate it. <laughs> Have a nice day. We cleaned him out. <laughs> we cleaned two of the three traders out. And, and Atka's like, yeah, that's why I come back every year. Because this village does me good. Yeah, she's make money, money. Um, that's a lot of money, too. And you know what? We're going to buy, uh, let's, let's buy like 100. Of course, I can I get to right at 100? Can I get 100? I'm just barely trying to tweak my right hand right now. And laser. Hey, no, they're, oh, they got close. There's 101, there's 99. I am convinced you cannot get 100. Hunt it. All right, we'll take that. We'll take that. All right, that gives us some coal in the inventory. Oh my God. Remember what I said about there being a bunch of kids? 24 villagers graduated. Thank you. Cha-ching, bada-bing. That is news we like to hear. Crude weapons. I don't, mm. Crude weapons are better than no weapons. Let's review. Oh, you know what? We got quite we got quite a few weapons. Oh, you know what? Oh, I know what. <laughs> A train's like, you know what? 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 I know what. You know what? Do you know what? No, I know what. But do you know what? What what? 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 What what in the butt? Um all right, you guys are out of here. All right, let's get, look look here now. Boink. Wait a minute. A bunch of people graduated. Where the hell did they go? Where did the kid, did they leave town? Where did the children go? Great song by, um, okay, two of them just got put to work in here. Law and labor, really? Oh, 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 there he is. Here's the man we were looking for. Here's the man. Here's the man. Here's the man. That's who we were looking for right there. Yes, sir. All right, look here. Uh, we're not going to sell this because we only have the one. But look, if we had plate mail armor, one of them, 758. Boom. You start making some big bank in this deal. All right, now the question, I, I don't think he's doing anything. He's buying. We don't want to sell him the glassware because we're just start. Oh, we could. Oh, we can buy it, though. Oh, yeah, we can. Because now we're starting to crank up the preservist building. And we want that thing cranking, so it needs glass. Yes. Would you put them on the glass? What is this? Spices. Oh, ooh, we don't have spices. Spices are good. Hmm. Oh, and he's selling medicine, too. See? This he this guy, Masuke. I told you. Masuke the Silver Tongue. I wouldn't know about that. There might be some... Maybe you don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? Um... We don't have any tools. He's buying them above. Weapons. He's buying the average. See what I'm saying? This is our money guy right here. All right? Sometimes he rolls up here wanting furniture. Or the other guy wants furniture. And buys that with big, fat, stupid gold. Now, I oh, we're out of iron? What? Hmm. Okay. We can fix that. We got a bunch of gold. We facilitated trades and stuff. And I, you know what? It would be. Sm I'm gonna go ahead and sell him one of these. All we need to do is move one. Just one. Just one. Oh, you no. Wait, we don't have to do that either, because it just got cleared out over here. So that means the storage over here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe it is. Do I have three heavy tools? Did we just produce another one? 
No, it only shows one. Hmm. I'm confused. This is our armor shop. Oh, they don't have much iron. These are the folks who are producing iron. We have plenty. Yeah, we need more people in here. We need more bodies. I need an immigration. What to do, what to do, what to do, do, do. Tear. I definitely want to buy iron. I want to buy like a hundred of it. We're producing the clay bricks. I don't want to give this up yet. You know what? You know why? You know why? You know why? Because when it comes to having tools, never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and desert you. <laughs> Shut up, A-Train. Yes, you just got Rickrolled for the first time in the history of the channel, I think. Or at least the history of doing this game. Uh, let's move in. What do you need? 900? Yes. Let's transfer. Oh, no. You know what we need? We need 909. Which, ooh, ouch. Ooh, that kind of hurts. Why does that hurt, A-Train? Why does 909 hurt? Because 909 was the B-17 that crashed up in Northeast. It belonged to the Collins Foundation. And yeah, it was sad. A bunch of people, well, several people died and a bunch of people got out. They had an engine issue uh, after taking off and turned around and tried to come back in and land. And the aircraft crunched into the ground and slid into a hangar. And like an Air National Guard guy or something got a bunch of people out of the airplane, which is great. Um, they were in the back, but. Oh, look, look at look at this. What in God's name, game? Seriously? Now you give me a hundred even. Uh-huh. And now I can't get a hundred and one. You so suck. My gosh. Look at that. It's like you don't even see 101 up here. It's just 102 or nothing. Ugh, that's crap. <laughs> what an idiot. Um, anyway, yeah, that was a sad day. We lost a B-17 there. That was three or four years ago, I think. Two, three years ago. Um... And then, of course, Texas Raiders went down at the Dallas Air Show a couple months ago. Well, it's maybe about six weeks ago. And that was totally human error on the part of the air boss at the air show. Idiot. Six people are dead. Two priceless airplanes destroyed. And I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm not... I talked about this previously. I don't want to sound like I'm callous towards the deaths of the people. Those people mattered to their friends and family. So they're important within that little circle. I don't, I'm not a member of that group. So I can't pretend like I knew these people. Okay. Uh, one of my dad's best friends knew them. And uh, so, but to me, the bigger loss as a whole is the loss of the aircraft because those are historic flying pieces, right? And you can't replace them. You can. I mean, pilots get old and they die, right? The one thing you could say about those guys is they died doing what they loved, but it was unnecessary. Um, at first, I thought there might be some culpability for the P-63 pilot as he came in, but he was coming in blind and just flew right through Texas Raiders and both airplanes fell out of the sky and went splat. It's the Airboss's fault. Totally the Airboss's fault. It was a dumb plan bad plan i just i don't ugh. anyway all right so what else is there anything else we need to do here i don't think there is i think we're good man if we didn't have a raid coming up next year we could sell those weapons off that'd be 810 that'd be some big money there uh but we have now we have stocked iron so Uh, there's nothing. Hmm. I bet he comes back in a couple of years and we'll buy this at above average price. But we're going to need it eventually anyway. So, Masuke, Silver Tongue, you, uh, yeah, 
Ooh, what is this? Get this out of here. Make sure we don't have anything else. Nobody, did anybody offer cows this year? I don't think anybody offered cows this year. Hmm. 76. Masuke, see, he's buying for 81. Wait, what is this? Oh, Scorv doesn't have any money left. Don't even try to facilitate. No, get these guys out of here. Goodbye. All right, let's get rolling. Get through this deal, and then we're going to wrap this episode up. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. Hope you'll give us a like. Share it with your friends. Hello. Food stocks are low. Oh, we're coming into peach season. Let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, I say let's figure this out. We we got to adjust our labor here slightly. Where are we at? Um... Yeah, we need an influx of like a dozen people. No, we have nine guards. How the hell do we have nine guards? Closed, 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 closed. Those are all closed down. These two are shut down. We have one over here, right? Should just have one? Yes. All right, one in that tower. Oh, yeah, we should have one in this tower. Right? Two. Three. Okay, these are just to protect the people around that area um, from uh, wild animals. Uh, I know, here it is. That's what was affecting this number here too. Because the monthly cost when you have this fired up is like 12. All right, there we go. Because we upgraded that, I forgot we upgraded that watchtower. Oh, All right, so that's two people still. Oh, we got two down here, too. We don't need that. We got one there, and we got one here, and I think this is the better one here. No, I think, yeah. Let's take this one out of play for the moment. There. Okay, so one, two, three, four. All right, so we should have four guards. It's still showing six. Oh, we have one over here. No, we don't. Where the heck is this other guard? Hmm. There's seven deer over here. Hmm. We got a big coal mine up here, too. All right, there's eggs. There's willow. There's medicinal roots. Hawthorn is about to come into season. There's not much of it. More willow. And then there's more eggs. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? We could put a uh, food production. Not, not a fishing shack. Forager shack. That's what we need. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Let's put that there. Oh, Pooh's ready. Yay. All right, now notice how these are all in the 80s, but these are in the 70s because these are, again, zero sum. In their three-year cycle, it balances out to zero improvement. These are going to slowly improve over the course of the three-year cycle. So these down here, we're going to add compost to this field. That's the only way those are going to improve over time. Now, we're... I still don't know where these two extra guards are. That's shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, and shut down. Oh, wait, over here. Yup, 
There we go. Now we found them. Um, take you out of play and you out of play. All right. There we go. That should help balance our workforce. Yes, it did. Super. Thanks for asking. All right. Four guards. Now we have everyone allocated or accounted for. Cool. All right. We still have some uh, shackalicious stuff down here that needs some upgrading. How close are these? 27. That's over. That one's close. Let's upgrade that, sh that shrine. We've got the stone. We've, we just bought the iron. Yeah. This house is not... Oh, no. Those are misaligned. Urgh. I could take that road out and move them up. Hmm. Where is this forager foragering? I might put another forage shack over here. Yeah, you know what? I like that idea. Uh, let's just put it, I don't want to put it next to the pooper. Now, she's going to be working out there anyway, or whoever it is. Not necessarily she. Um, oh, there we go. Let's put them next to the well. are you wandering and unable to work i don't understand okay cool this is up now willow eggs greens yeah i mean if i can pull this in like that it raises up the amount of willow even but yeah, eggs are good, willow's good, greens are good. I'm not even fussed about the willow. I'd rather them focus on the food. So yeah, let's do that. Cool. And then this is going to take up a couple more bodies here. We are catching up on brick production, so we'll start. We'll take that one person out there. That'll help balance things. Uh, firewood production is not where I want it to be. That is an issue. Um, so, a possibility here, and this... Oh, yeah, that forager's there because we may move them out further. Then we got to transplant all these stupid blueberry bushes. <laughs> Oops. Because um, that's like our blueberry bush farm. Blueberry farm. Uh, we got one more. D. All right, there's a body we could take. Put that there. All right. So here's the plan. And I know these are closer here to the, the logs. But the plan is going to be build another firewood splitter and upgrade it over here. And then we can move the third person over to it. And then hopefully that will make it easier for these industries. We have to move the firewood a little further. I mean the logs. But we got... We got people moving around doing that sort of deal. All right, uh, the furniture shop's open. Hooray! Okay, wandering, unable to work because they need boards. Uh, 
that's going to hurt it. No, we're good. What, did kids just graduate? Did I miss a memo? Kids just graduated, didn't they? It's that time of year. We got 32. Cool. All right, we're balanced. And now we're up to making 32 a month. Aha. Uh -huh. See, some of these houses upgraded. Aha. Uh -huh. See? Got a bunch of large houses over here. This is good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Bunch more upgrading. Then we got a bunch more of uh, shelters upgrading to homesteads. We gotta get boards made for them though. So, Project Pure and Cray. Uh, Thirty-one. Okay. All right, so we're good there. I still haven't figured this deal out, though. Stockpiling fruit. Hooray. Get someone else in there. That's what we want. We want fruit stockpile. <laughs> there we go. Look at this, gang. Not only do we have a good supply of smoked meat and fish, we got fruit, we got vegetables, and we got preserves. Yes, that's good. Now things are dropping. Well, no, that's good. We want raw fish turned into smoked fish, so that's good. We don't have any root vegetables. That's odd. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. It's casual. Now it's getting cold. Uh, we could upgrade this. Let's see where our storage is at. Oh, this storage is good here and here. 35 bricks. Oh, we have fit, we have 50. We have 50 bricks. Oh, you know what we don't have? I'll tell you what we don't have. We don't have somebody making uh, arrows. Bows and arrows. That was something I wanted to focus on. So, since we bought more clay, let's take someone out of there and enable that. And we actually have a bunch of coal, too. Let's take someone out of the coal mine. We're working in the coal mine, working downtown. We're working in the coal mine. Whoop, there you get down. Boom. And here, yeah, we want them focusing on making bows. Five new villagers born. Okay, we still have 15 beds. See how the number of beds has gone up? We still have, we've, we've had, one thing we haven't gotten is a bunch of new people coming into town. And real, whoa, why are you very unhappy? No, thank you. Corrected that very quickly. Thank you. All right. Overall happiness is 92%. Shoes is the issue. Um, why is shoes the issue? We got two people working here? Yeah. We got one person working here. One person making baskets. One person making bread. Furniture. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Weavers. Wait, is there flax? Yeah, they're making clothes. Yeah, there's flax. Come on, man. We just, we need more people. Damn it, Bones. We need more people. Now. Idling on able to work. Okay, arborists. Okay. So now they've collected all the, uh, see, it only made 62 fruit. But I anticipate next year it's going to be a much bigger number. See, it's 1,312. That's good. Only thing is, at some point, these trees are going to start dying. We're going to start replacing them. I think their lifespan is like eight years. Did it say that? Hmm. Okay. Lifespan in months, 750, never mind. The heck am I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? Um, sure, let's upgrade. And while we're at it, because, I, again, I, that's not it, and that's not it either. Oh, now we, hold on. Now what we can do, all right, so we got 34 people available to work. Now 
Let's kick uh, arrow production in the butt and weapons production in the butt. Kick it. I mean, we can make a heavy tool. We can make tools. I don't, we've got a spare heavy tool sitting around, right? Yes. We want this. Wait, we have pelts. We have a bunch of pelts, don't we? That's where we need to put a body right here. Okay. How are we looking? 31. Okay, we're good. All right. So there's that. Yeah, we want to make, we want to make, if, yeah, no. Well, shoot, I want to keep it on. Where are we at? 143. Do, 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 do. Storage. Ugh. So, we may need another body here. Okay, that puts us at 30. Now, we're into the winter months. All right. We know the arborists and the foragers are out to lunch. So let's get people working on stuff, other stuff over the next two and a half months. Thirty-seven. Yeah. Uh, candles. We don't have a whole lot of candles, do we? No, we don't. We should have tons of materials for them. Uh, the firewood thing is done. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna upgrade this, and then we're gonna put that other person here. be able to get four people in there okay cool be great if it didn't get super cold this winter but it's going to get super cold here in a minute extreme cold means it's going to get deadly cold you know what the other thing we could do is i know what the other thing we could do is Let's see. We upgrade that one. Shoot, we don't have stone. Oh, we need 20 boards. Ah, people are killing me here. Stricken with a foot wound. Go see Doc. All right, cool. Now, here's the thing. All right, so this just upgraded, and now they put, uh, what's her name, back in there to work. All right, so. Oh, we're okay. And now a broken leg. Ouch. That ain't good. All right. We got this. Uh, we're almost there with the stone. We need the boards. I know we got people here. Those are going to be bodies that come available. Come on. 20 boards, people. Give me 20. Scurvy. Eat a freaking snack. We got fruit. Eat some preserves or vegetables. People act like they don't have any food. All right. 
This is going to get us real close to... Oh my gosh, we're so close. Year 25. Okay. And that means... Alert! We know the bad guys are coming soon. So, and this... We, uh, wood planks got used. Where did wood planks go? Oh, you know what? Houses are still upgrading. Crap. Uh, I could put the kibosh on their per, their per construction, but notice we're back up to making 43 gold a month. Every one of these that, that upgrades, you know, that's extra gold each month. I mean, these guys are even upgrading at this point. So, shoot, we'll be okay. We had 32 raiders last time. So, I expect we'll probably have... Anywhere from 36 to 40 this time. So. Hopefully. Uh, that'll work out. And then our next step. So we'll have basically all the facilities built. Except we need to get the brewery built. We have furniture under construction. Which is super cool. Because that's a big money item when Masuke comes to town. Probably need not another basket shop. We may need another cobbler shop. Well, of course, we do have a slot there that just... So we can increase production there a little bit more. Oh, weapons count is going up. I like it. I like it a lot. Weapons count is going up. <clears throat> oh, now we got two heavy tools, too. Okay, cool. So they finished up a heavy tool, which is great. So now, I mean, it's like, hey, just kick that kick that weapons production in the butt. We need weapons, which means we need ore. We have this maxed out right here. We're going to build another foundry eventually. Let's lay it down. Uh, that's this right here. That's going to go right here. Okay. And we are going to go ahead and... Uh, you know what? Actually... We're going to enable construction just to get the heavy tool moved over there. They'll move like the gold and the heavy tools, right? But the other stuff, all and all that, the point of that exercise is just to clear out the inventory here. So these guys' storage is full because of the heavy tools. All right. Sooner or later, somebody's heavy tool is going to go bad. See, this one keeps saying 100%. That, and that's something that happens is the heavy tools go bad. Um, and that makes sense, right? Eventually they wear out. Ah, here we go. Look, see, there's the 75%. This was the very first heavy tool we put into use. So after several years, the heavy tools start to wear out and they have to be replaced. So you have to have your blacksmith continually making them. But I think you can work the ratios where it's like one of these for like, you know, three of these for like, you know, six of these or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You want to have tools being produced. And it may be a case where eventually you have enough people that you can have two blacksmith forges, which we have a second one program for here, which is also going to get a heavy tool. Um, but we got to have more iron to make that production happen. And right here, we got 10,000 iron waiting to be pulled out of the ground. But we gotta get we gotta get it pulled out of the ground. Um, and that will go into next episode. We could let's upgrade cost here thirty five bricks and two hundred fifty gold. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. Yeah, and let's put the priority on there. All right, so that will get that moving. And yeah. I think that's good for now. We will reallocate peoples. We're into year 25 next go round because we are expecting an attack. And so we will be moving people out of production and into defensive positions, arming them up. We have weapons. We have lots of weapons. And bows and arrows. Yeah. And then we've got cheap stuff. We've got got baseball bats with nails sticking out of them in case you're a walking dead fan yeah i don't even know who the character's name is i just know dude 
Dude looked tough, had a scruffy face, and carried a baseball bat with nails sticking out of it. There you go. So we got those two. Beat them over the head sticks is what I like to call them. Things look pretty good up here. We got so much honey to sell. That's awesome. And, I mean, I think your people will actually use that as food or as a last resort. Or they may have nerfed that. I'm not sure. But things look pretty good here in Huntington. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Farthest Frontier, now available on Steam from Crate Entertainment. Go get you some of that. Link in the description below. You know, it occurs to me my outro screen looks the same as my intro screen, so I could just click back to the intro screen and, well, whatever. Anyway, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I hope you give us a like, share with your friends, let them know about the channel, let them know about the game, and support these developers. Please, get, get you a copy of this. I mean, it, check the system specs because I think that's important. You're going to have to make sure that your, game, your machine can run it, you can always dumb down the graphics a little bit and ask mom and dad for a new computer for Christmas. You can do that sort of thing, too. Um, but we appreciate you being here. Join us on Discord. Link in the description below is a link to our PayPal as well. If you want to make a donation, help support the channel, help us work towards getting a webcam and upgrading our uh, equipment. So, hope you guys enjoyed the show and uh, appreciate you being here. I hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And 